Tata Group's expansion into the aviation sector continues to gain momentum with Tata Advanced Systems Limited, recently inaugurating the final assembly line facility for the Airbus C295 transport aircraft. Currently, Indian Airlines are purchasing aircraft from ATR and de Havilland, focusing on shorter regional routes. These are propeller-based aircraft, similar to the C295. If Airbus and Tata go forward with this plan, it could be a major breakthrough for their business collaboration. If Air India shows interest in operating the C295, it would offer significant advantages. Since its parent group is involved in the aircraft's production, Air India could benefit from streamlined access to parts and maintenance, leading to cost savings and operational efficiency. This marks an exciting new chapter, as TIL is also planning to develop a civilian variant of the C295, which could potentially be operated by its own airline, Air India. If this vision comes to fruition, Air India might become the first carrier to operate the civilian C295, marking a significant milestone for both the airline and the country's aviation landscape. The C295 can accommodate up to 71 passengers, close to the ATR-72's capacity of around 78. This aircraft would be especially reliable for airlines, as parts would be readily available due to the assembly plant in India. While the C295 is primarily used for military operations, a commercial version would be a game-changer for the airline industry, providing a win-win situation for both Airbus and Tata. This could also lead to more competitive pricing. This move is aligned with the growing demand for regional connectivity in India, where smaller, regional airports require more versatile aircraft to meet travel needs. The C295's short takeoff and landing capabilities make it an ideal choice. For connecting these regional airports, many of which have shorter runways that are not suited to larger commercial jets. By introducing turboprop aircraft into its fleet, Air India could fill an important gap in the market, providing crucial connectivity to underserved destinations. The potential introduction of a civilian version of the C295 offers several benefits. First, it could significantly reduce operating costs for Air India, especially with domestic production. Having an aircraft manufactured within the country would allow for more affordable maintenance, support, and easier fleet expansion. Furthermore, this move would complement the Make in India initiative, reinforcing the government's vision to boost the country's domestic manufacturing sector, particularly in the aerospace industry. Additionally, the C295 versatility in both passenger and cargo configurations would make it an attractive choice for mixed traffic regional routes. The fuel efficiency of turboprop aircraft over shorter distances also aligns with the need for cost-effective operations on regional routes, where airlines face increasing competition. If Tata's ambitious plans for a civilian C-295 materialize, it would not only strengthen the Tata Group's position as a key player in both the military and civilian aviation sectors, but also contribute to India's rise as a competitive force in the global aerospace market. For Air India, this shift towards operating a domestically manufactured aircraft would further underline its commitment to the country's aviation future.
Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about C295 aircraft in the comment section. Hey there, are you pursuing aviation studies and struggling with aviation subjects? Don't worry. At Jetline Marvel, we bring over 10 years of experience in the aviation industry. We've crafted an amazing textbook, packed with valuable content tailored to your graduation requirements and aligned with Bangalore University's curriculum. Check out our book on Amazon and order your copy today.